Hey guys, today I am filming a video which I hope will be entertaining for you guys. Um, I've seen it done by quite a few of the YouTubers that I adore, so I thought it'd be really fun to give it a go. So I'm doing the 10 Ungoth Confessions. After watching this video, I understand if 90% of you unsubscribe and never watch me again because I'm so ungoth, <laughs> um, I feel like it'd be a really funny video to do and it'll let you guys see another side to me that's not just like super goth, so <laughs> not that I am like super super goth, I don't know. Anyway, it'll let you guys see another side to me, so I think it would be quite fun. Number one on the 10 ungoth confessions is I have a big obsession with my Little Pony. I just freaking love them. Um, so the I watch the series, I have the stuffed animals, I love it. <laughs> One of my really close friends also loves My Little Pony so we talk about it all the time. Um, I even got my boyfriend watching it, not to the extent that I love it but he'll still watch it with me. Um, my favourite pony is Rarity and she's super cute and she likes fashion like me so that's why she's my bae. <laughs> Um, so, confession number two, I don't really listen to any goth bands, unless you consider like type O negative a goth band, then maybe, but my favourite like top three artists or bands, whatever, that I listen to are Pierce the Veil, as you guys all know, Lana Del Rey and Melanie Martinez, they are my top three things to listen to, I listen to them constantly, on repeat, my boyfriend's fed up with hearing it, my housemates are fed up with hearing it, I love them, <laughs> I'm a creature of habit, if I enjoy something I don't venture out, I just like to stick to what I enjoy, so Lana Del Rey, Melanie Martinez, Pierce the Veil, it's pretty much <laughs> the, what I listen to the majority of the time, so I don't really listen to any gothy bands but if you guys have any suggestions of what I should listen to please put it in the comments because I would love to listen to more stuff um I just don't really know where to start to be honest like I know goth bands but I don't know who knows maybe one day I will <laughs> um number three is I have a pink tent up in my my bedroom and it's like a castle and it has bow bunting all the way around the outside and I love my pink tent I lay in there and watch films, cuddle up with my stuffies, when my boyfriend's at work and I'm bored I'll just lay in there and chill out and I freaking adore my pink tent, I'll post a clip of me in my tent now so you can see. So this is the inside of my tent, um, just filled with a bunch of stuffies and then my giant leopard on this side, um, sorry it's really shaky, I can't like balance the, the camera or anything. Um, so it's gotten a lot darker since I filmed the last clip, I had a nap, <laughs> sorry about that, but here we go, this is the inside of my tent as well, it's like up here, so it's not like super high, like I can touch the top quite easily, but it's really cute, and I like to lay down here and be comfy. Confession number four. I've never been to a goth club, that's not by choice, that's because there are no goth clubs where I live, it's really shit. The most alternative place we have to go out is a pub called The Hobbit, where it's Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings themed, all the drinks are named after characters in Lord of the Rings, that's the most alternative place we have. So there's, oh, there's some clubs I really want to go to in London, like Voodoo and Slimelight held at the same venue but on different uh, nights of the month. I would love to go but it's so expensive to get to London and then to go out and then I'd have to stay at my brother's and I'd have to arrange it and oh, so much stress. So one day I will go to a golf club but it's not looking like it's anytime soon. Number five is um, I watch really un -goth TV shows. I mean, I watch like typically dark things like American Horror Story and anything about serial killers, but one of my favourite shows in the whole entire world I've been watching since I was about 13 or 14 is Pretty Little Liars. I don't care if that makes me basic. I love Pretty Little Liars. Ari and Ezra are my OTP. They were the first ever couple that I shipped. I love Pretty Little Liars and I'm still watching it now on season 7 and I don't care. If any of you join me in that love for Pretty Little Liars, please let me know because we can be friends. So that leads on to number 6, I am a bit of a basic bitch. <laughs> um, 
I I don't know, there's some things that get really mainstream that I freaking love. For example, the fluffy keyring, the big pom pommy thing. I love these. How cute. Like, it's black and it's fluffy and I can have it on my keys. I also have a really basic keyring. Everyone's obsessed with mermaids. So am I. It says shell yeah. Why would you not want that? Um Another thing that makes me feel really basic is um, I use a beauty blender now and I only started using one when my little sister did my makeup and did it like her style and her style is very natural and very basic. So since then I loved it so I brought myself a beauty blender and I feel really basic. I also have hella basic nails, look at these glittery bad boys, but they're, they're claws so does that, does that count? Does that make me less basic? I don't know. Um, number seven, I am obsessed with, there's only one Disney princess, I want two that I actually like, Ariel is my life. I have baby Ariel with little flounders all over her baby grow, I have toddler Ariel because she's so cute and her hair is adorable, I have a handbag with grown up Ariel on. I just love Ariel. I did have another little one, but I don't know. I mean, she's not in there. I don't know where she's gone, but yeah, I just am obsessed with Ariel. I don't know why. I just am. She's just, she's so different to the other princesses. She's got like long red hair. She's a freaking mermaid. I mean, she's cool. <laughs> Um, the only other princess I like is Sophia from Sophia the Fur. Um, she's like properly like Disney Junior, like for little tiny children, but I don't care. I love Sophia, I don't care. Um, number eight is, I don't know if this counts as a non-goth confession. Un-goth confession? Non-goth? I don't know. My boyfriend is not goth in the slightest. He, I'd say he's alternative -y, but not goth. So, now you know, I'm not dating a goth bear. Number nine, I don't know of any other goths who feel the same way as me. I know a lot of goths do not enjoy sport, they don't. I mean, I myself don't enjoy doing sport, but I do like watching sport. I love West Ham United. <laughs> this is my shirt, I freaking love them. Um, I want to go to the new stadium. My brother has a season ticket, so hopefully he'll let me use it at some point. But yeah, I have supported West Ham since I was a teeny tiny little girl. And my dad supports them, my brother supports them, my sister supports them, my whole family, except my mum and my other sister, <laughs> support West Ham and we go to games and it's really cool and I've spoken to my favourite player, Winston Reid, on the phone, so. <laughs> and my last one is a very embarrassing confession that when I was in my last year at secondary school, so I was, I was 16, I mean I knew what I was doing, I knew I was embarrassing, I was obsessed with Kim Kardashian. She was my queen. She was my hero. I wanted to look like her in any way I could. I will post a picture of the spray tan I got. Please do not judge. <laughs> Please do not laugh. This was me. I'm so embarrassed. She was my idol. I used to dress like her. I used to talk like her, use her phrases everything so that's possibly the worst ungoth confession that I could I could give to you so yeah very embarrassing now you know unsubscribe if you will I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it and I enjoyed letting you guys see the more fun side I guess why well, I guess I'm pretty fun anyway am I fun I don't know see the side that is not typically goth like I don't I find it embarrassing if people won't allow themselves to have fun, explore what they like, do a certain thing because it doesn't fit in with their stereotype. I mean, if you are super duper hippie and want to do something that's not hippie, like go ahead, like who's stopping you? You can do what you want. If people ridicule, ridicule you for it, screw them. <laughs> I think you should do what you want, enjoy what you want, like I do, like you should, like others do. Yeah. Um, so like a really sentimental bit for you to take away there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, well, some more goth stuff on this channel then please subscribe, and like and comment. I like to hear from you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!